Hello to all Prime React developers. You know, Prime React provides a lot of themes to choose from, like Material, Bootstrap, or our own Prime One themes. But in case you'd like to create your own theme or just want to customize an existing theme, then I will show you how today. So the easiest one is uh, the visual editor. You just log, log on to the designer.primereact.org and you just start with a base theme. I will cho choose the Lara Light. Okay, now on the left side, you have the variables exposed by the editor and on the right side, there's a demo components. But as the text says here, uh, we are working on a new advanced designer with the more customization options um, over the components. Okay, now um, let's, for example, remove this border radius and change the primary color to maybe purple. And then there's this highlight background that should be maybe this one and text on highlight the foreground color and for example if you there's a hover border and the focus border you can also customize this on the forms there's a border and a hover border and the focus border as well and the um, there's a focus background Box outline. That will be it, right? Okay. Now, um, once you're happy with your theme, you just need to download it. It will give you a theme CSS file, and I will be using the Sakai R free admin template for to view this theme in action. So here I'll create a new folder, prime rack theme, and I can just paste this here and go to, this is a Next.js project, so I can just import prime rack theme, theme, CSS, and fire it up. Let's see how it goes. Okay, now see that our theme is now in action here and that's it now in case you'd like to have more customization options there's a repository called sas theme the currently prime rack offers a sas based theming um, so uh, there are releases that should match your version. Find the version that matches your Prime Rack uh, uh, library, like 9.2.0 in this case. You ju just download it, ex export it here. And here you, you will see that there's a theme based folder um, and the themes. Themes are define the variables for the themes for, let's say, material. And also the theme base is the core structure. So for example, there's a my theme folder and I will just go to the variables, maybe change the primary color to something green. And then you need to, one way is building the theme yourself with SAS. And then what you can do is that you can grab this theme file. Uh, I just need to save it as a hold on. Okay. You copy this and move to Sakai. Okay. Now let's run Sakai again it should show the green buttons now. Okay. So, this also works, but um, there's an, an, another approach like integrating the Prime View SaaS theme with your application. So, in this approach, you import SCSS and let Next.js or your built environment do the compilation. 
Okay, so I'll just uh, remove this file as well. And then copy the theme base to my Prime React theme. And then I will create the themes folder. And move my theme here. Sorry, it should be here. Okay, prime rack theme, theme base and themes. Let's just close this one. Now I just need to import themes, my theme, theme SCSS this time. And if you go to themes, my theme variables, you can see that here, maybe we can try different color time let's run no sas compilation this time just run it okay now we are seeing these changes and a nice thing about is that if you just change and save it you will see your changes instantly okay for example you not just colors of course you can customize the various aspects of the components as well like let's increase the size of the buttons and you have various options to choose from like in the general you can change text colors and message colors and button paddings and a lot of things of course uh, hoping that you spend more time on this as well, uh, you, you will be able to create what you require. Um, if you have UI UX designers in your team that uses our UI kit Figma, Figma UI kit, then the good news is that we are working on a plugin that will generate this theme uh, from directly from Figma, so that you don't need to go over these this process, so that you we can you will be able to generate it from Figma. And also, Prime Rec is going through. Um, let's say a renovation process in terms of styling where we provide um, numerous customization options to the components moving to uh, css variables for a dynamic approach and a whole lot of things that aligns uh, our styling with the figma ui kit so that there will be a single source of truth um, that will help us uh, you know uh, generate themes dynamically switch them dynamically and um, keeping uh, the code optimized for your bundles as well. So uh, a lot of things going on in the styling and the customization space of Prime Deck. So um, thank you for joining me. Hope you liked the video and um, I'm, I'm expecting you to, you to uh, take advantage of this you know, designer, the SaaS team to create your own themes. And if you like your themes, please don't forget to share us, share with us because we are we're planning to put up a website in your in your in the primary um, documentation like user gallery user themes uh, themes gallery created by our community so that you can share with the community and download other people's um, themes as well okay that's it thank you for joining me see you on the next video thank you